Hey y'all, hey, y'all know me, dropping in to spread a little tea, and you know how we do it, so let's get right into it. Do y'all remember this magazine shoot that Brianna was saying um, she was on the cover of, as if anybody, who, who still buy magazines, I don't know, but anywho, she um, did her reveal today, and this is what she revealed. But I got a reveal at the end of this video. Check this. Oh, the DZ family in this bitch. Hey, you talking about? They pop out in here. Hey, DZ. DZ family in this motherfucker. That nigga is popping out. Oh, his friend. That nigga is bad. That nigga is bad. Oh, your friends pop out with you. Come on, let's see the flowers. Yeah, look at Mr. Wu Tang looking like Bobby Brown when he was getting high. Why would he be at her event acting like well, it's not her event, but why would he go to the event acting like that? That is so embarrassing. Holland, running around, jumping around with them short pants, like why, why was Bobby acting like that? And of course, she doing her her laugh for no reason, and you can see that she's kind of embarrassed of the way he's acting. And y'all seen where he showed up? I don't think no, I haven't played that video yet. Where he showed he gonna show up fashionably late. That's what she put on there. So he was late, so he came in with roses. But let's get back to it. This is where he's making his grand um, entry at the event. Showing her how he know he's late. You see him pull his uh pull her dress up over her breast because it was damn near hanging out. But I thought I think all of this was just for some attention. It's like he wanted to be the center of attention, just like always. He always wants to shine. I know this situation with um him and Brianna is pretty much dead and over with. Nothing more to talk about. But after seeing what I seen tonight, I definitely had to post this video moving forward can someone from her team let her know that this necklace does not go with this attire um it doesn't go with everything although i did like her dress i actually loved her dress what y'all think about her hair is that blonde doing it for her or no comment below and let me know and look at destiny from um what is it love and marriage huntsville y'all miss destiny on this show Okay, so right here she's out fake celebrating uh, for winning, well not winning, for getting, uh, being on the face of a, a magazine. As I stated before, who cares about a magazine cover? Who, per who, who buys magazines? Who looks through magazines? Who still sell magazines? Walgreens, I believe Walgreens do still sell magazines. But we, we in a new age. We don't pick up magazines purchase magazines like we used to do back in the day hell jet ain't even on the scene no more jet was the shit but um so she's i say she's out fake celebrating because this lady is allegedly going out she try to act like people are scouting her which they're not her pr team her management whomever it is they are going out scouting these getting these gigs for her and allegedly she's paying to be at most of them like the movie read uh that movie release she went to she purchased a ticket allegedly and then she comes back to her platform and act like these people are reaching for her nobody is reaching for her nobody is reaching for her like i said we don't even want to discuss her anymore but once i seen uh bobby brown acting a fool i said well this don't make no damn sense he got to try to, he the goofiest, goofiest grown man that I know, well, that I've seen. And he got to be the center of attention every time he goes somewhere. He's so big and goofy. Like, get it together. Grow up. She has, how many kids she got? She has four kids. She don't need a fifth one. She needs you to man up and be a man. Every time we see you, you running around like the fifth child. We already know she's taking care of you like you her fifth child. And now you out here acting like one. Grow your ass up. Or Brianna, he need to move around. Anywho. As I stated in the beginning, I wanted to show you guys 
I wanted to reveal something to you all. I want to reveal how she got the magazine cover. Thanks to Sage. It was a Sage in the City or a Sage Reactions, one of the pages. Look at this shit. Okay, y'all, wait. Before I reveal it, I forgot. Y'all listen to this. This What is wrong with this woman? Why? Okay. Yeah, my tan is ridiculous out of this world. What gives you the right to keep coming on this internet lying over and over again? That is not a tan, that is a filter. The lady saying her tan is out of this world. After she, you gotta wear pink, you gotta wear pink. Oh, okay, y'all. Let me get back to what I was doing. Let's see how she got on this digital magazine cover. We love to feature you on our fully digital magazine platform for women of color. Please fill out the information below to initiate the process. We believe that women of color who share their stories are the heartbeat of our culture's continued prosperity. Get featured today on Woman to Woman Talk. Tell your story. Share your expertise. Put the WOC community onto new resources, products, and info. Look. Y'all could have done this. I could have done this. And for anybody that have anything that, you know, they would like promote it or put out there, they can also be a part of this. So it's a good thing that um, Sage posted this because I've seen a lot of people in her comments saying, you know, I'm gonna pass this on to such and such. And But like, why couldn't you just be real? Why do you, why did you have to act like you won this spot to be covered on the front of this magazine? Like every time you speak, it's always a little bit of the truth and the rest is a lie. You continue to make up these stories in your head. Just let it go. Let it go. Just go on. Live your life. Live a truthful life. Like just stop all the lying. Stop all the playing. Get, the, get your man in line. Get your life in order. All of this is for no reason. Like... It's just too much. I ain't never seen somebody that constantly come on the internet and lie every day, all day. And I noticed she's been trying to give us a little bit of something for us to talk about because she have nothing to talk about. She have nothing interesting going on. This whole thing with her and Robert, like I said, and, and Mr. Wu-Tang, it's dry now. I know people, some people are still putting out content, whatever they can find, but it's dry. And like I said, I had to come on here and talk about how she got featured on this digital magazine. We all could have done it. By no means am I trying to discredit this magazine company or the women who run this company. It's a beautiful thing that you're doing because there are women out here that have stories that need to be told. They have testimonies that other women um, need to hear. And um, I just think it's a really good thing that they're doing this, but for her to take it and twist it and turn it and do what she wanted to do with it, that wasn't right. And I can only imagine a story that she wrote in or maybe paid them to get on there. I don't know, allegedly. But guys, that's all the commentary I have for now. As always, thanks for watching. I will talk to you shortly. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I upload a video. Don't forget to support your Black-owned businesses. Visit ours, NideaSkincare.com.